is Dr. Joe, and today I'm going to show you how to use a TENS unit for pain relief. So let's get started. Disclaimer alert! Disclaimer alert! So what does TENS stand for, you might ask? It's transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation. Well, what does that mean? Well, basically transcutaneous means on the surface of the skin, and electrical nerve stimulation is making the nerve stimulated through some kind of stimulation being electric stimulation or sometimes it's vibration, things like that. But what this is different from like an EMS unit or uh, uh, electrical muscle stimulation is this gets those surface nerves right on the skin. So technically when you're using this for pain relief, your muscles shouldn't really be contracting. Now, sometimes if you, if you have, um, just really thin skin or not a lot of meat on your bones, those muscles will contract a little bit. But the goal of a TENS unit is strictly for pain relief. It's not to contract those muscles. So that's what a little bit of the difference is. And what I, I really like about a TENS unit for pain relief in general is if you don't like taking me pain medication or maybe you have allergies or bad reactions to pain me medication, this is a good alternative. When I've had both my surgeries, um, shoulder and hip, and all the other surgeries I've had, but mainly those, um, I maybe one or two days afterwards, I'll take some pain medication and then I'll just use a TENS unit and ice the rest of the time because it's enough for me to take away that pain. And for most people, it'll take that edge off just enough. So I think it's a great alternative, especially if you just don't do very well pain medication, which a lot of people don't. So. Um, it has, with TENS, a, a lot of different settings. This unit, particularly here, the folks at CUH sent me, and I really like this one not only because it's small and compact, but it has 16 different modes, so that's really, really cool. And it's got a lot of power to it as well. But again, like I mentioned before, it's not supposed to contract the muscles. This is a TENS unit where it kind of massages those muscles, it gets that current in there just to calm things down. And basically what I tell my patients, not in technical terms, but what does the TENS unit exactly do to make the pain go away? So this current follows the same pain pathway back to your brain because the pain really comes from our brain. It's not, you know, if my knee's hurting, the pain's not really here. It's sending signals to my brain and my brain saying, yes, that hurts. So it's following that same pain pathway and kind of canceling it out through vibration. So that's, that's what it does. That's the goal of it. Um, it does, in a sense, have a healing component to it because that that vibration that that nerve impulse um, the electrical impulse excuse me that goes in there kind of helps increase the circulation as well so if you've got some swelling if you've got some irritation it will help with that but its main goal is to kind of cancel out that pain feeling so you can do your stretches and exercises to feel better so again i'm going to show you real quick here the cuh brand which is really cool i mean look how big it is it fits into my palm right there you can put it in your pocket it's got two separate channels which i like and each channel which this is the the part that i like best about it has two electrodes on it so it gives you the option of either just doing one channel with two electrodes or two channels with four electrodes, and you can use them for different purposes. My main rule of thumb is if you have a big surface like the knee, you want to use the four electrodes. And if you have something smaller like the elbow, or maybe even if you're just trying to get a specific area, then just use the two electrodes or one channel. So um, it's, it's really important also people, um, sometimes don't know this and sometimes it's not in the instructions in, in certain units but so one channel here where it's connected you can see they need to cross each other so if you're using four electrodes it should be like this and the pain spot should be basically in the middle so if I've got this channel I'm gonna put one here and then I'm gonna put one on the opposite side down below and then I'm gonna put a, make it across so the other channel then goes here with some dog hair on it and then it crosses over on the other side 
And so what that does is it makes the currents go this way. So you're getting it in that pain area. If you do the same channel here and here, then it's just going to go this way and it's going to go this way. And the, some people might think that feels okay, but if the goal is to really get that spot, you want it to go this way and this way. So the other big thing that people like to ask is um, once you turn it on, it's got those 16 modes. And they're like, well, which mode should I use? You know, there's 16 of them. How do I know what's best for me? This is what I tell my patients. You'll probably hear therapists tell you completely different things. Whichever one makes it feel better. Whichever one you like the best. I think everybody's personal preference is going to be something different, which is fine. Um, you know, they, they, some of them will have settings that say, you know, this is for your knee, this is for your shoulder, this is for your elbow. Um, this particular one doesn't do that. It has just some um, different kind of massaging type sensations. And so in the end, if it's increasing the circulation and if it's following that same pain pathway to cancel it out, to me, I don't think it really matters what setting you have. I think the different settings to me are your comfort level. So some people like the one that just goes up and down and up and down like that. And some people like the one that kind of almost like somebody's just kind of beating on you a little bit to get that vibration or specific massages to do that. So it's really just what you think feels the best. So as you can see, it's got a lot of great features. So if you're interested in purchasing the CUH, you can click on the link up here. So what I want to show you really quickly, um, I'm going to do what you probably shouldn't do. And I'm going to take it up strong enough where it actually will probably start making a muscle contract a little bit, which is what you don't really want. Now, like a lot of times on the shoulder, since it's a smaller area and usually those muscles are a little bit more on the surface, maybe don't have as much fat or adipose tissue on it, you might start getting a little bit of contractions but you don't really want that to happen because that's going to fatigue out that muscle. And again, the purpose of the TENS is to make you feel better and to cancel out that pain. So let's see if I can do this uh, without my uh, hair sticking up. Just kidding. Um, so I'm just going to start going. And so you can see here where, see how it jumped like that? I really don't want it that high. Um, it, it again might do a little bit in some places and sometimes you can just fix that by changing the placement of the electrode a little bit. So here it was getting that VMO just a little bit more. So I'm just going to move that, that pad just a little bit back and it's, it's on that it's not going to make a difference if you take them off and put them on while it's still on. Um, I would just turn it down back down to its lowest setting. But so now it's, it's, it's not really doing that contraction. It's about at the same level. Now if I turn it up, it will still, you can probably see a little bit where it's doing that. And that's just not something I think is really good for your muscle. You know, if you're trying to get strengthening and make that muscle contract, that's what you want. But for the TENS unit, you really don't want that. So um, again, on this one, it's pretty cool because it has the different settings and, you know, I would say when you get it, just go through and see how it feels. You know, again, some people like the certain ones better than the others. And another thing that I really like about this unit is it comes with some other electrodes as well. So different sizes. So these smaller electrodes are usually better for smaller surface areas. So let's say I've got some lateral epicondylitis or something like that. What I would probably do is just use two electrodes or two placements and use the smaller pads just because that's going to get a little bit more directly to the area and it's going to be um, it's just really going to hit that spot versus having those electrodes you know big and clunky all over the place so I think I, I got myself all tied up there we go and so by having the smaller electrodes, you can really just get around the spot. So let's say that outside elbow, tennis elbow a little bit is really sore. Then I can take these and just place, you know, one right here and then the other one right here. Now with this unit, what I found is um, they're, they're both on all the time. So if you don't want one of them on, then you want to probably go ahead and just unplug that side. And then um, you probably wouldn't have it plugged in anyways. But if you're just using two, just plug in that one. And then again, you can uh, pick which uh, mode is best for you. And it might be different. So if you like one on the knee, you might like a different one on a sm smaller area or something. So um, I could then just change it 
to whatever I wanted to. And for, for some of these is for like headaches or um, reflexology um, in the feet or in the ears and things like that. And so those are not quite as intense. And so you might want to start with those first and see how they feel. So I think it gives you a really good variety of things to try. And so you can just do the one that works best for you and what works best for you might not work for somebody else. So the main things I would say is if you're going to use it on your low back um, for low back pain, which I think tens is great for, I would use the four electrodes and just kind of make a nice surface area of your back. So you're just getting that whole general low back or mid to upper back. And so the further away it might not be quite as strong, but you're going to get more of an area. Um, if you're using the shoulder, it kind of depends on where the pain is. Some people, if it's like on the outside, might just want to do two right here. Um, but I like if your shoulder in general is hurting, do one back, one front, kind of one up here at the neck and then one a little bit lower on the arm. So then you kind of get that whole area as well. You can even do it on, if you've got shin splints, you can do your anterior tibialis. If you've got, you know, calf strain, calf um, cramping and things like that, you can use it on your calf, hamstrings, quad, we talked a little bit. So you really can use it almost anywhere that you have some muscle soreness. Once you start getting into the front of the neck or, um, you know, where those, those arteries are and stuff, you want to be, you want to be a little careful with those. You don't want to go right there, but as long as it's those big muscle groups, those should be fine. But you should always talk with your doctor or physical therapist first, because there are some, what we call contraindications for using these. And a lot of times after surgeries, sometimes the TENS is usually fine. The neuromuscular is not always fine, especially if you have a fracture or something. So again, even if you're using the TENS, I would clear it with your doctor of whatever injury you have, or if you're going to physical therapy, you know, check with them and take your unit with you. I've had my patients say, hey, I, I, I bought this online, it's awesome, but I don't know how to use it. And so then your therapist can use some of the session just to show you how to use it. Make sure you're using it properly. Make sure you're feeling good while you're doing it. Making sure that those electrodes are in good placement to really get that pain relief that you need. So there you have it. That's how you use a TENS unit for pain relief. And if you're interested in purchasing the CUH, make sure and click on the link up here. And don't forget to subscribe by clicking down here. And remember, be safe. Don't go too high. Have fun. And I hope you feel better soon.